Today, I'm going to talk about this important topic, and this important topic is trending on Twitter right now. So, if you remember Diddy, well, I don't need to tell you all the details, but today he has tweeted. When we're done letting corporations manipulate our culture into believing incremental progress is exceptional action. If you love us, pay us. Use my alert, Corporate America, and by the title of this video, Sean Diddy Combs is writing a letter to Corporate America. And Twitter can agree. I mean, On second thought, Twitter didn't kind of agree. Some of them on Twitter didn't kind of agree, and some didn't do. But now that we've seen some of these tweets, I am going to read what Sean Diddy Combs wrote. All right. So it says here. In the same. Feet these companies use to stand with us in solidarity are the same feet they use to stand on our necks. When confronted by the leaders of several black-owned media companies, General Motors, this did my network revolt as an example of the black-owned media it supports. While revolt does receive advertising revenue from GM, our relationship is not an example of success. Instead, revolt just like. Other black-owned media companies fights for crumbs. Well, GM makes billions of dollars every year from the black community, exposing GM's historic refusal to fairly invest in black-owned media is not an assassination of character. It's exposing the way GM and many of her advertisers have always treated us. No longer can corporate America manipulate our community into believing that incremental progress is exceptional, acceptable action. Corporations like General Motors have exploited our culture, undermined our power, and excluded black entrepreneurs from participating in the value created by black consumers. In 2019, brands spent $239 billion on advertising. Less than one percent was of that was invested in black-owned media companies. Out of the roughly three billion General Motors spent on advertising, we estimated only 10 million was invested in black-owned media. Only 10 million out of three billion. Like the rest of corporate America, General Motors is telling us to sit down, shut up, and be happy with what we get. It's disrespectful that black-owned media companies only represent one percent of the total advertising market. It's disrespectful that distributors refuse to carry black-owned media brands in an era where our impact and influence is undeniable. It is disrespectful that the same community that represents 
14% of the population and spends over 1.4 trillion annually, is still the most economically undervalued and undeserved at every level. To repeat, 1.4 trillion annually. The almighty black dollar. We demand that corporate America reinvest an equitable percentage of what you take from our community back into our community. If the black owned, if the black community represents 15% of your revenue, black owned media should receive at least 15% of the advertising spent. The same way we understand the power of dollars. We understand the power to take them away from any corporation that doesn't give us the inclusion we deserve. We are prepared to organize our dollars. If you love us, pay us. Not token investment, not charity, check, or donation. The time is now. Radical change is the only option. You either with us or you are on the other side. I agree with Sean Diddy Combs. I mean, look at it this way: Corporate America hasn't been, you know, very forgiving to the black community for a number of years, and uh, I mean, look, look at that. That only one percent less was invested in the black-owned media companies is just not enough. I mean, if General Motors has spent about roughly three billion. Instead of ten million, or I mean, not instead of ten million. If General Motors probably spent three billion, and ten million was only invested in black-owned media companies. General Motors or other corporate or other corporate media companies in America should probably do the right thing and spend a little bit more than what they already have right now. But of course, Twitter, Twitter, as always, they will be mad. I love things. This person says, "Diddy, you are corporate America. I swear to God, why billionaires so good at trolling us?" Well, they troll us. Because for this reason, corporate America doesn't want to spend so much money. If they truly care about the black communities in their areas and their employees, who are most likely black and work there. Then they should probably spend more than what they have been spending right now. I mean, that shouldn't be this hard. It really shouldn't be. Maybe if we actually invested 
this much in ourselves and our communities. Letters like this wouldn't be necessary, and how do you suppose you do that? Hmm? How do you suppose how do you suppose suppose death would like me do that? There is no plan for you, is it? I don't see it in this thread of tweets here. All I see is conversation. This is rich coming from someone who's rich though. Open your books and records and see how well you paid your employees. Just because Sean D. Combs is rich. Doesn't mean that he should be, you know, even if Sean Diddy Combs still hasn't paid artists from this era, that doesn't mean anything. Aren't you already corporate America? How are you supposed? How you suppose Decky helped like that? How you suppose? You think he shouldn't help at all? Like, hello? Corporate America, as I feel, probably hasn't treated the black community very well. So if you have a plan for the corporate America, then why don't you present it? Instead of telling Diddy that he should sit this one out. It's his platform and he should be the one to do whatever he wants with it. Besides, some of y'all are the ones who, like, are hating on Sean Diddy Combs for doing the right thing. And, like, come on. You already like corporate America and they manipulate you. This letter is performative. I won't change anything unless you apply pressure on your peers and mentors to change your ways. I just don't want them to profit off our music slash culture when it's convenient anymore. Meanwhile, ours and color are un unable to profit with our style. Make it make sense. R&B is pop music. MJ was right. They don't care about us. Her DNA is incapable of being original. Medica A. Woodset says, You first lead by example. I change my mind for every two hours. AK at Black and Sandy says, He is. He hires Black, promotes Black, is asking for bigger corporations to invest in black-owned companies. He is leading by example, but we love to tear each other down instead of cheering each other on. Okay, that comment right there, I can agree with. I mean, come on. I don't know why half, why some people in in the black community have to tear each other down. You should be supporting Sean Diddy Combs. I mean, come on, this is the only thing he can do. There isn't much anything else he can do. And sitting this one out, by the way, is to me is not going to work for him or any other black person who are trying to make a change. It's time to realize that and help one another. That is that. Plus, it's too late for you guys to tell Sean Diddy Combs to rethink this idea and go pay the other artist now because 
there isn't that much time in the world anyway, and we are still in the midst of a trial that's going on. The trial that has been here for almost 10 days now. And a certain former police officer is not charged yet. So, anyway though, those are my ent entire thoughts on Sean Diddy Combs and, you know, I think at the end of the day, he has his own thing and he and if he thinks that what he's doing is good, then let him be. I mean, seriously, you you motherfuckers can like judge him all you want. But at the end of the day, this is all that Sean Diddy Combs can do, and he's just not gonna sit quietly like you're telling him to. He's not going to sit, sit this one out. That's just sitting quietly and nobody wants to sit quietly when they want to use their platform to speak out. So let them do that. In fact, let Chun D. Combs do that. <laughs>